With 3BL Media, I'm James Epstein Reeves at the Cause Marketing Forum in Chicago. I'm here with Anata Duga, who's with Procter & Gamble. Welcome. So the Pampers One Pack Equals One Vaccine program is one of the most widely regarded cause marketing campaigns. Can you describe it in a nutshell? Moms all over the world care for the same thing. They wanted babies to be happy and healthy. And they really wanted to do their bits, and they didn't know how to do it. And the, the campaign principle is so simple. It's one pack equal one vaccine. Moms get it really, really quickly. Why did they get it? Because it's simple. And because mom naturally vaccinated their babies. And so it was very easy for them by buying a pack of a diaper that they use anyhow, knowing that they are helping another woman in, in, in another part of the world. That was uh, a, big, a big thing for them. So it worked with the consumers. And so we expanded the program in 2008. It became really a global program. And it expanded to uh, countries where we never thought they will be able to participate. Countries which are in developing markets, right? And so it was successful and became really global. Now we are, uh, we've done the campaign for six years in a row. And the results are just stunning. We have raised 300 million vaccines protecting more than 100 million moms and their babies around the world from this, vaccine, from this deadly disease. So you're participating in the kind of keynote presentation today at the Cause Marketing Forum. What are some of the key points that you wanted to talk about uh, during the discussion? The most important thing is you have to choose a partner that fit with your values and what the brand's equity are. You cannot just do a cause because you think it's, it's good. You need to really look for something that is going to be sustainable over the year, something that you're going to repeat to your own year because this is where are the biggest results. And for this, you really need to look for a partner that believes in the same things you want to achieve. We have P&G that's very commercially driven, and you have UNICEF that is very mission driven. Did you guys have any clashes like that, and how did you work through it? I think when you go into a partnership like this, uh, you don't realize at the beginning the differences in cultures and the amount of work it takes the two organizations to get through it. Um, I think that's why we don't see much of these cost marketing because it is complicated and it's different. There, there is inherent difference um, and skepticism initially between organizations who are profitable and non-profitable. There's one key element, for example, we don't think about is timing. When you talk with an NGO, their timing is five years from now. It's, in it's MDG goals, you know, the millionaire de delivery goals. It's 10 years, five years. If you talk to Procter & Gamble, we're talking in, in months. And, and for me, um, results are tomorrow. And uh, claims, support, I need the help for now. And that was a big, big challenge in the beginning for us to understand how we can work with uh, an organization like UNICEF and, and respect their timing while they understood what are our needs. It took us maybe two to three years to really put um, a process in the system um, to work this out. And this is a major killer um, to, to campaigns, even if everybody is committed to do something, if you don't understand this big issue of differences. The other thing is measures. So for us, we wanted really a simple mechanism, which was one pack, one vaccine. We knew whatever you donated, you, you calculate the number of vaccines. Uh, UNICEF and other NGOs, they want to get donations that allows them to support a whole program. And so not reflecting only your dollars into vaccines. And this was a big debate in the beginning. And we said, you know what? We have to be accountable for your, our moms. And for this, the money we're going to give you, you're going to be accountable for it, for a vaccine delivery. And it worked, and it worked. And now, of course, they do realize that by really working on results and showing how can this translate into numbers, this can help both of us in, in building the campaign. Thanks, Nada. For 3BL Media, I'm James Epstein-Reeves at the Cause Marketing Forum in Chicago.